Hello everybody, my name is Michael Quinn. I'm one of the directors and co-founder of The Quinn Group. This week on Quintessential TV, we will present another one of our videos. Today, we will be discussing the following topic. What to consider when giving credit to your clients or customers? While offering credit is a valid way for your clients or customers to increase their customer base and the demand for their goods and services, it's important to remind you to manage the risks of offering credit and how this can affect their cash flow and solvency. There are several risks business owners and directors must consider when deciding to offer credit. These two primary risks are as follows. Reduction in liquidity, which in turn may affect a business's ability to pay its debts as well as purchase of required assets or cost of investing in new products or processes. Permanent loss of revenue if a service or product is provided to a recipient who doesn't have the ability to make payment. This is quite common in industries such as construction where significant time is invested and a service is provided before payment is made. There are several strategies business owners and directors can employ to mitigate the risks of offering credit. In order to take full advantage, having a stringent credit application process that may include performing a credit check or asking for references. Other investigations may include completing an ABN lookup to confirm business registration, obtaining relevant guarantees such as personal guarantees from company directors to ensure payment, and obtaining a history of cash sales. Setting and reviewing appropriate credit limits depending on the customer's risk profile, reducing the risk of losing large amounts, communicating clear credit terms on all invoices and promptly following up customers who exceed these terms. Standard terms of credit are often 7, 30 or 45 days. Keeping up to date and accurate records of your debtors. Inaccurate master records and invoicing can adversely impact the recoverability of your debtors. For example, if invoices are not being sent to one correct address or do not reflect the correct payment term. Providing incentives to customers to pay on time and keeping payment terms for customers shorter than those with your suppliers to help maintain a healthy cash flow. You also should note that for clients who are creditors of big business, which is over 100 million Australian dollars, the new reporting under the new Payment Times Reporting Scheme, with an acronym PTRS, that commenced on 30th of September 2021. Under this new legislation, transparency on payment practice is increased with these businesses required to report the payment terms they offer to suppliers every six months. This aims to eliminate cash management activity that disadvantages small and medium-sized businesses that engage with large companies. If you'd like to know more you need help in this area, please contact us. You're welcome to email us at info at quins .com .au, call us on 1300 Quins, or visit our website www.quins.com.au. We'd love to get your feedback in relation to Quintessential TV, so please like, comment and subscribe. We look forward to seeing you all again next time. I'm Michael Quinn. Bye for now.